What's up, guys? Face Pomage here, or Pomage, or Austin. Whatever floats your daisy boat. This is the second time I've done this commentary because, I don't know, uh, technology just doesn't want to work with me right now. And neither, 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 neither does my health, aka my nose, aka my allergies. And uh, I have allergies to dogs that shed fur. And ironically, or the planned part of this, is I'm going to be talking about Daisy or Phase Daisy, but to explain the ga the gameplay a little bit more, this is a Ballista Iron Sight gameplay on slums. Gameplay is a little sloppy, to be honest. I am pretty sure. Yep. Uh, and but some stuff does happen. Uh, there's is a little clip in here with the Ballista Iron Sight, but it's a Ballista Iron Sight. Not a lot of people use it, and I got a gameplay with it somewhat. It's a lot of kills. Uh, no lethal kill streaks, so that's pretty good. I think there's no lethal. I hope there's none. I'm pretty sure there is none. Unless that's a hunter killer. I highly doubt it. But anyway, back to the Daisy part. So, to start it off, uh, Daisy is a bass hound, and my love for bass hounds sort of came around when I was young. Um, I had a dog before Daisy, and it was a bass hound, of course, and we called him Roscoe, uh, the Dukes of Hazard. That's where his name came from. Um, Roscoe, uh, I, he was like 12 or 13 years old. Uh, he lived for 12 or 13 years. years. Uh, I remember when I first got him, and uh, when we first got him, uh, me and my mom drove like four hours away. A long, it was a long drive for this dog, and so the lady opened up the car, and all like four other bass hounds came running out with so much energy. But they were tripping on the ears, which is the cutest part about them. But and then I realized that there was still a dog inside the car, and I looked in the car, and then there is my future dog that I would have for 12 or 13 years, and you know he was just so chill, laid back, lazy, great dog. Uh, so I called him Roscoe. Uh, we were having like he was so small, he could literally fit into the palm of your one hand. Like that's how small he was. He was so. He was a good dog, um, but there is a lot of stories with these bass hounds because they are literally the most loyal dogs you could get. Honestly, um, they will sit beside you. They will put their paw on your foot and let you know that they're there for you. Like I swear to God, like both my dogs have done this, and not my not my other dog Max, but that's not about them. They are the most loyal dogs. They will follow you around. They will protect you even though they're wusses. I want to say that. Uh, they will lose fights they really shouldn't have lost. Uh, I remember when Roscoe was fighting a cat, got his ass whooped, and he was fighting a chipmunk, and the chipmunk scratched him and tossed some acorns at him. That was that was a grand time. <laughs> I was cheering him on though. Made me proud. Rest in peace, Roscoe. I love you, man. But oh wait, there's another story. Um, they're they do weird things like they're really smart in a way uh, they have their own uni unique ways of being smart because I remember this one time it was in the summer uh, I was on the res so he was he was one of those dogs that ran around with a bunch of his friends I guess I knew his friends like, they were good they were good kids you could say something I don't know but uh, there was this one day we were we were all out uh, playing baseball I think and we come home and he's still inside and uh, we look into my brother Zach's shoe and literally there's like a there's a huge dump like spiraled into his shoe as if he literally scooped it out of an ice cream container like it was just so perfect perfectly fitted like it filled the entire shoe and we didn't want to use that shoe anymore so we just tossed it out but I honestly gave him props for one it was my brother Zach's shoe which was funny and second how perfectly placed it was there's a lot of I, there's a lot of stuff that impresses me like that. So, props to you, man. Rest in peace. I, I miss you. Um, so, back to Phase Daisy or Daisy. Um, well first, we started to talk about no, 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 no. How it started off was it was my birthday, my 16th birthday, uh, March 7th, and my mom opened up my room and I was sleeping of course like it was in the morning she wished me a happy birthday she turned the lights on and literally turning the lights on is the easiest way for me to wake up if you want to wake me up I'm like a vampire light just wakes me up and it's just like frig I don't want to get into my light my skin turns diamond to like in twilight 
pretty much. But I'm not pale. I'm really not that pale. Whatever. But <laughs> so my mom uh, sits down and then she brings out her phone with a picture of a bass hound or like a bunch of bass hounds. And she's like, this is your birthday present if you want it. I was like, oh, my God, I want this dog. And then I was I was all game for it. Um, so about a week later, her and my brother, I believe, I think, went off to Sudbury, Ontario to get to pick out one of these dogs and I was talking to them when they were picking them out and uh, they came across this one uh, uh, they called her Houdini and she there's like a huge backstory behind this she can get out of anything but she was the smartest of the bunch she knew what to do uh, she was small but you know she was really smart so I decided to switch it up from getting the laziest dog in the world to getting the most energetic and smartest dog and that had its backfires because they c actually outsmarted me at times. No, no, not that. They actually brought some smarts in getting things, but that's not the point. Uh, Daisy, uh, I remember when she get, got here, uh, they gave her one of my sweaters so she'd be used to the scent, and it actually worked out really well. She was like, she was like, yo, man, I know your smell. Let's hang out or something. I don't know. It's a girl, so... <laughs> I don't want to do girl's voice because I'll probably voice crack. Also, my nose is sniffly, so it'll won't, it won't go good. But anyway, I love this dog from the start, and then you know, baby that dog like a champ. Like all of us did. We all just fell in love because we all loved bat sounds because of Roscoe. They're just so loyal and awesome. But the reason why they called her Houdini uh, was because she could get out of things and she could get onto things. And when I say onto things, you you won't believe this. Um, so it was in summer, and we were all just doing whatever, and we were wondering what there was noise was, and we didn't hear it until afterwards, until we actually went out and seen it. But uh, there was treats on the table. She literally brought a chair towards that table and climbed up on the chair on the table to get these treats. There were nights where we literally found her. Uh, no, no, literally times in the day where we would find her on the table, which was the weirdest thing. That's why I have little nicknames for her. I call her a scumbag. I call her a snake because, you know, she, she goes on the ground like a snake. Plus, she does some snaky things. She's snake moves. Um, call her a rabbit because her back feet are like rabbit's feet and her ears. And we call her, I call her a cat because she would go on top of the couch just to see, like... If you got on the couch, from her point of view, you could see outside all the windows, like around us. She could see us at the kitchen window, the living room window, like, it was perfectly in the middle, so she could just look left, right, or front, and then she could see out the windows. And she would go nuts. Like, she, she went ballistic after we got rid of that, uh, chair. I mean, uh, couch. But anyway, so those are one of the stories. Uh... But she's a lot better now, actually. Um, when I went to MLG Dallas, we actually gave her to a trainer um, with a bunch of other dogs. She doesn't really have many dog friends, I guess you could say. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to get those kind of friends, right? I, I don't know. I don't know how it works in the dog world. Who knows? But obviously, dogs do have friends. Um, she was playing with a bunch of res dogs. I don't know if you know what those are. Those are the free-roaming dogs. So those dogs just don't... Those, guys, those dogs are relentless, man. They don't. Those are ruthless dogs. They are so energetic. And Daisy ended up running all of them out. Like those dogs would be so tired, and she would still be like wanting to go. But anyway, that's the type of dog she is. Um, she is about a year and a half old now. Um, I think she was like a month or two when we first got her. But she's. She's a little. She's a. She needs the attention. I mean, what dog doesn't, right? But I feel like she, me, and her have conversations. Um, like there's times where I would like play bark, and then I would ask her things, and then she would like, sort of, I don't know if nod her head or she would. She would give me a, some sort of sign of interaction. It's pretty cool. She's just one of those dogs. She, uh, whenever I talk to people, she's like, talk to me, talk to me. Like, she'll make sure. She gets jealous, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. Dogs get jealous. They easily do. Um, for example, we have another dog called Max. He's a miniature schnauzer. He's like, you know, he's a professional dog. He has all his papers. He was pre-owned. 
And uh, whenever we go to pet him, she will instantly run over and just like, Hey, give me attention, give me attention. And Max is like an old dog, right? So, you know, freaking, he's just like, I don't care. You can have all the attention. I've had 11 years of attention. He's a grumpy old man. But, you know, this was a talk about my dog, Faze Daisy, otherwise known as Faze Daisy or Daisy, whatever you want to call her. She's not here right now. She's sleeping on the couch. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary about Phase Daisy. Uh, let's go for 5,000 likes for Phase Daisy. Um, 400,000 Taj will be out. And I'm Phase Maj, and I will see you guys later.